Welcome to game number seven of the <laughs> of the Elven Union run. My brain went completely wonky there because I was wanting to say Wood Elves because I'm so used to playing Wood Elves and we're playing against Wood Elves. So I was like, welcome to game seven of the blah of the Elven Union run. Um, it's hard, you know, doing this streaming lark. You've not only got to say the name of the team, you've got to do the maths of adding one to four plus one plus one to get to game seven professional streamer uh we're playing elven union this is what our team looks like uh we've just added wrestle and we randomed block since the last stream we also did random strength skill on collie but she got multi block so we fired her and report her um we're up against some wood elves who have got a tackle war dancer they've got a regular war dancer they've got a random block lineman that's nice random for them too they've got a full price dodge lineman and they've got one catcher with block, two rerolls. They have got the apothecary, no tree man, um, and they played two games and they won them both. So it looks like they probably know what they're doing. Oh, somehow we're giving them a hundred and fifty thousand, which is exactly enough for a wizard in an elf off. F's in chat for the inducements. No, I did not notice that until I hit the button. So yeah, I assume they'll take a wizard. Um, I would take a wizard in an elf off. Not ideal. Aloha, Dark Walker. I've seen chat for us playing against wizards. They've chosen to receive the ball first. Maybe they just want to bang on some pro elves to start the game off. Can't blame them for. Oh man, the difference between them having a wizard or not is us cycling a oh, shadowing specky. I have some regrets. That's the whole difference in TV between a wizard and not a wizard is if we just cycled specky. Um, start it. Let's go really wide. Let's just protect the catches and nothing else. Give ourselves maximum width. So if something interesting happens, we have a chance to attack it. I know, it's Spleggy. Shakes fist. Shakes fist in Spleggy's direction. Boy, that wizard's that wizard feels real tough. <laughs> Yikes. How is our team so expensive? It's because we've got 12 players and we've got the catcher, which at the time when I took the catcher, there was some discussion about is it sensible to go to 12 with the catcher now because you're going to make the team expensive. And I said, well, yes, because it's okay to lose some games early in your team run. Um and really the most important thing is team development, which is is true. On the other hand, right now I regret having the 12th player, so I don't have to do without visit. Parenting top tip. There's no way at all you can tidy up that whole play area. I like what you're doing there, Collie. Reverse psychology. Did it work? It is working. Nice. I assume they can't hear me, otherwise I'm going to ruin it by discussing your ruse out loud. <laughs> Cheeky blitz? Cheeky blitz to start the game off? Cheeky officious ref, who stunned one of each of our players, didn't send them off. But it was their tackle player that got stunned, so that's a pretty nice um, player to have stunned to start off with. Um, it was freezing start R. Uh, catch dodger so yeah i guess we we had one more on fan factor but they rolled a two we rolled a one so hey thelian how are you are you going to uktc thelian i assume you are sort of near to where you live ish isn't it ish Who's on Team Thulian this time? Just a stun. One more on the line, then we got the blitz. That 
That one's leaving the pitch. That one's dead. Not ideal. Not ideal. Who was it? Hydra. Sorry. We barely knew you. But yeah, niggled. Niggled unskilled. No SCP lineman. That's heading to the bin, I'm afraid. Deep down a couple of ways. Nice chill team. Nice. What team are you taking? What, uh, what roster? It's lovely seeing Dan out and about more this year. Me and his little lad of fruit behind besties. Well, Dan's lovely too, isn't he? Goes to the tackle. Makes sense. Elven Union. Just like us right now. Maybe your first ever Blood Bowl team. Nice. I don't think I've played Elven Union enough yet. It's a tricky one with Elven Union because any time they look good, they're usually tiered about the same as High Elves. And Well, to be fair, I've only taken High Elves for the first time at Thread, but I want to take High Elves again now because I sort of, I enjoyed High Elves and the way they played more than I thought they would. Okay, they're not dropping the fireball on turn one. Are oh, they giving me a hit on the ball on turn one? Only if I'm rowdy. I'd have to do three plus, two plus, two plus, two plus without dodge skill. If I had dodge skill, I might go for that. Because obviously, like the turnover there is pretty, pretty wild if you get it. But I don't, and I think what I want to do instead is to foul the nonsense out of this, uh, out of this um, tackle board answer because it's the only tackle they've got. So who's going to do the foul? Spleggy. We're going to give up a lot of space here. <laughs> just, uh, just acknowledging that before I do this. <laughs> Maybe it's irresponsible. Dead plus. I think it's leaving the pitch. KOs. We do get sent off. They could apple it. They do not. Argued the call. Get in, Spleggy. What an argument. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a rowdy fireball. So they don't have it for offense, but they just wanted to murder some things. Okay, well, they have uh, got rid of Vitriolic Monkey. That's a dead catcher. Oh, no, Spleggy. They got rid of Spleggy. Uh, they KO the catcher. Fine. So Spuggy did not get sent off but got killed instead. <laughs> well, that solves our um, shadowing's not good on an elf lineman's problem. And it also solves our fireball problem. I mean, it's definitely like bad. Like that was a very effective fireball, right? Like they got um, two removals and a stun on it. But it means that we don't have to play against it when we're on offense. So I, I'm not the saddest about that. I'd rather that was done and gone. Yeah, like a turn two fireball on offense is, is a choice. I mean, we had some value underneath it, right? Like, I understand that's probably what they're thinking is um, is Blitzer with dodge, Catcher with wrestle dodge, another Catcher as well. Like, but they definitely high rolled. Like, they're looking for a high roll and they got it. They got three four pluses out of four and only, um, and they removed on two of those. Like, that's that's above your expected return. And I'm still sitting here thinking, well... I'm kind of glad it's happened because now, yes, they they got, they got good results for it, but it's gone now. So I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that it can work like anything in Blood Bowl it can work, but I wouldn't recommend that choice personally.
However, they are basically just high rolling us off the pitch, which can happen to pro elves. So we're now on nine. I'm not spending an apple on a seriously hurt. So this is probably just a loss because of high rolling, sadly. Um, but yeah, like this is this is now this is now very bad. I mean, this drive is going to be close to over because we're defending on seven against ten um, against a team that's got good resources. Um, and that's not coming back, so we're capped on nine for the game. It's not a good spot we're in because they're just removing every time. Not filling me with confidence. I mean, some games are like this at Browse. I think that's why I'm a bit reluctant to take them in NAF, like unless they get a really good rule set. Like some games are just like this with them, right? And some games are like this with Wood Elves too, but the tree helps a lot um, to reduce it. Yeah, this this will happen sometimes with the uh, with Proavs for sure. Just to be clear to anyone watching who is not sure, like this is not normal. Like this is absolutely just being high rolled. Like this is now just our opponent is very good at rolling dice. That's that's literally all that's happening. Um, like it's not normal. Like. Every time they hit you, you've got about a 75% chance to go down. So there's about one in four chance they're not even rolling armor if they're hitting a player with um, with no skills of block. So it's one in four already that you're not going to get knocked down. After that, they have to roll an eight, um, an eight plus. That's less than 50% to break armor. After that, to get these injuries, you have to roll a 10 plus. Like these aren't normal things. They're just things that can happen sometimes when your opponent rolls big numbers. So sometimes that's blood bowl. Um, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> but yeah, this is not this is not indicative, particularly. This is just getting diced, basically. <laughs> Without wanting to put too fine a point on it. This is just getting diced. And getting diced can and will happen sometimes. Hopefully it doesn't happen in our Rebel game. At least this will be quick. Had an awful time with my tabletop league woodies the other night. Failed 10 out of 12 KO rolls. Ugh. Someone managed to get to OT against the full undead team. Received the ball but only had three elves and a tree on the pitch. That sounds like a sad time, Thulean. I see a very normal match of Blood Bowl. They do be like this sometimes. They do be like this sometimes. Hey, for the first time this game, we managed to take a hit and not die. Well done, PMG. I'm breaking the mold. I mean, they could reasonably foul us now because they've got such a big numbers advantage. I'd almost be tempted, although I also tend to do that and then lean into it and then start getting send-offs that balance things out a bit. So I'm not sure if I'm right. <laughs> do we still try to play this drive? I mean, they haven't got tackle to deal with these dodge pieces, so maybe. Maybe we still just try. Sod it. It's only ladder. We lose by one, we lose by four, it doesn't make any difference. Again, just to speak about the odds for a second, as likely that we kill them as they kill us. Same armor. So if you, again, if you're not sure about what the uh, dice are doing. <laughs> if we were rolling the same as them, we'd have some removals. Mm. 
when this happens, I like to think of more fun activities like doing my tax return early or putting my face in a blender. <sighs> If any of these had been badly hurt, I would have actually appoed one just to keep players around, but none of them were. So it didn't feel worth it. One, two, three, four. So we could get back to eight if we get our KO back. I'm going to go for the wrestling. Oh, tax returns. Yay, tax returns. <laughs> Hey, Phage. Weekend is awesome. This game of Blood Bowl, terrible. <laughs> I mean, weekend's a bit for me. Like, I'm actually working this weekend, so um, this evening and uh, an afternoon, so I'm going to have to work the same tomorrow. Oh my god, it's another removal. Like, these dice are insane. Our opponent is just rolling like a 10, and a 9 plus, like every single roll. Um, hey, Blood Bowl Nat. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream this morning? I just really don't want our rebel game to go like this. I don't mind too much about it happening in a ladder game. I really don't want it to happen in the rebel game because rebel's going to be really competitive this season. Um, no risk it, no risk it because we're in trouble. We're asking for a lot here, like a three plus, three plus, three plus, couple of twos. But if we were to sack it here, maybe we could do something. Probably it's still too aggressive. Probably we hit this instead. Just try to squeeze them with the side steppers. <laughs> Come on, game. A little bit of balance, like a tiny bit. Um, gonna regret this, but trying to put pressure on. And then we're going to try and put pressure on. This is why we wish we'd just taken dodge on Collie instead of being greedy and trying that strength random. Lost both games thanks to five or six one in nice clear the ball. That's my luck right now. Sorry, Bubba or not. If it makes you feel any better, we're playing an elf mirror. No mighty blow on the pitch. And you can see the removals and how they've gone. This is not fouling. This is not... There was a wizard, which they did a very rowdy, like removals fireball that got one of these casualties but other than that they've just been high rolling every block so i'm with you in the um i'm with you in the uh amazing bud bowl luck right now camp Dub skulls. First reroll our opponents had to use. Sidestep in here onto the ball, thank you. Okay. So if we go up, they're going to get another hit. If we go down, they're going to reposition over here, so I think we still have to go up, even though it's another head. <laughs> More pushes. They are rolling some worse blocking dice this turn, for sure. Just dodges the score. Okay, so we achieve what we wanted to do there with the pressure. God, we need good KO rolls. <laughs> we really need those KOs back. We need their war answer to say out. We got one. No. <laughs> Come on, game. Give me a break. 
So we're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The only good thing that happened for us, that drive, is that we managed to foul out a ward answer and it came straight back. We are on seven elves. But hey, we've got three turns to score and we've got we've got two catches. There's a chance. There's a chance. Sorry, Dark Walker. I have the minimum ads set. I have the minimum ads um, that I'm allowed to set. Uh, so, without uh, wanting to, like, yeah. Sorry, it's a pain. Like, I have set them as low as I can. There are other channels where you get a lot more. <laughs> so, I'm doing my best. Dizzy. Hey, Dizzy. I am sorry, because I know ads are annoying. They are part of the thing. One, two, three, four, five, yes, seven. Seven elves against eleven. And they've got their sodding tackler back. The one the one thing that was good for us on that drive was that we'd got rid of that tackle. Oh well, um, we pick up on a blitzer because they've got three plus passing for sure. And we blitz through here, I think, because that looks like the closest things we've got to a soft breakthrough. We've got three turns, not two, but I still think we want to be quite aggressive here, don't we? I mean... Slow drives, not our friends, with seven elves against eleven anyway. Cheering fans, Stiletto, who got it? They got it. Well, at least it's the player we're blitzing. Got one! And that means Stiletto is gone, because <laughs> it's a one drive skill. Um... Get that there. And then what? <laughs> I think we're not going for that this turn, are we? So take that hit. Boom. Oh, it's not out of their range. I'm not sure I can prioritize getting it right now. There's no way we can come forward and make this safe from a ward answer. We can stay at this level and they'd have two. I think we go here. We go here. Okay. None of this is ideal. It's just what we've got. Just what we've got. You cannot get over how weird the body paint looks on the woody linos. Oh, I'm not on team colours. I like my team colours on the customization page. I'm not sure I like it when I see it here. Like it's kind of a hard to read colour. Maybe switch the yellow and the orange might make them stand out a bit more. The problem is that like a lot of colours feel like that in Blood Bowl Three. Like a lot of colours when you see them on the actual pitch don't don't pop as well as they need to. Okay, it goes after our blitzer. Could you not break armor for one time, please? <laughs> Honestly, that one's a nine plus two. Yeesh. Mm -hmm. Rule number one is the ball save. It's not actually always rule number one, to be honest. Depends on the game situation, but it's a good starting rule. It's a good starting position to think about. It's the first thing you should ask yourself. It's not always the first thing you have to prioritise because sometimes you're in a position where you don't have the choice. Um, but it's a, it's definitely a good first thing to think about when you start a turn. I 
think we actually want to have scoring threats on both sides, so I'm going to put you this way. We're behaving here as if we own a thrower when we definitely do not own a thrower. But they can throw on a 3+. plus, And we're just going to have to rely on that this time because there's no way to bring this ball forward and make it safe as well. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five scoring threats. Because even this one on the floor is a scoring threat. Some are easier than others, but that is a scoring threat. It's as good as an ability thrower, exactly. Well, an ability thrower has got pass get, I think, doesn't it? The nice thing is we've got two scoring threats with nerves of steel. So like, even if they base these, there'll at least be a chance to try and get the ball to them. Better than nothing. Doesn't have sure hands, no. And neither do you, Collie. This is you, by the way, Collie. This is you about to throw this hero pass. Do I need to give you a pep talk and tell you how much I believe in you? Because I do believe in you, Collie. Just so you know, I believe in Collie. Chat, do you believe in Collie? Who here believes in Collie? <laughs> Collie does not believe in Collie. <laughs> Collie's like, mm, maybe don't believe. <laughs> not sure I can recommend that. <laughs> Hanky Pangy believes. I think they're blitzing this one from the way they've set up. I think they've just been blitzing for value as well as anything else, which makes sense. Okay. I think I know what my play is. That is out of range now. Buongiorno, Franken. Grazie ancora di aver organizzato il torneo. Ci siamo divertiti un sacco. See, that doesn't really change anything for the catch, but it does change things for how we get out, unfortunately. Because um, that is, I think, the easiest one to get it to. Uh, probably we should have to do the 3 plus dodge there now. That's probably the way. What are our options? So we can try and throw it to you. It's a longer throw. Um, we can... Uh, it's going to have to do a 4 plus pass to get to this one. Because we can't make that a 3 plus. My thinking was until they did that last action, uh, throw it to you, bring you around to here, hand off, and then use that to blitz through. But they've, they've covered that now. So I think we just have to throw it to here and then do the 3 plus 3 plus. I think is probably the way. The only other thought is we could go for this one, but then it's a longer throw again, which I think is probably not worth it. And then not having the nerves to steal and catch for the catch. So go in here to make it harder that they get the intercept on it. And then I think this is a four plus pass. I don't think we can make it a three plus because that's uh, still going to be short. So yeah, four plus pass into a two plus catch, obviously with the intercept in between. Pass is good. Catch is good. So now we have a three plus dodge. And I think we do the blitz here because it's a three plus. It's either we go three, three, three two or if we do the blitz 
this is a three plus to make the hit because anything that's not a skull or a both down gets it and we have a team reroll for it anyway so i think it's just better to do this as a blitz ah oh, i didn't make it oh well oh, got one scp on collie nothing else oh. got our second ko back they did not get theirs back so we're on eight versus ten maybe with a good line of scrimmage we can even up numbers here it fell over the moment you believed well collie did her bit to be fair it was a uh, freezing star who fell over like after that pass has succeeded we're really not actually it's not even very unlikely that we get that right we're looking for two threes um two threes with a reroll for both of them like that's at that once we'd made the pass it was actually starting to look reasonably likely that touchdown yeah i got the pass fail the dodge we really need some removals on the line we really, really need that because uh, anyway, I think we're going to get anything out of this game. And I think a draw is probably as good as we can hope for. But the only way we're going to get it is if we can even these numbers up because we're down. Um, I think we're on eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're, and they're on ten. If we can just hit like they hit for the entire first half. Got a free reroll. Not sad about that. I have set this up like an idiot. That should have been a better position to give myself a uh, hit with block first nine, which I did not do. We did not get any removals on the line. Why has the armor been so uneven? We have identical armor. But our armor has been absolute paper. And their armor has been very rarely broken at all. Blood Bowl things. Blood Bowl things. Connie threw the ball at me too hard and put me off balance. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure they're above 50%. We had we had, we had, had to make two eight out of nine rolls. Oh, do you mean for the whole thing? I was just talking about the, the dodge and the cat, the dodge and the get through at the end. With the, with the pass, um, I mean, none of it's like that, like all of it individually su should succeed, right? Like, so the pass is 75% to succeed because you've got a four plus with a reroll. Um, the catch is two plus with a built-in reroll. The dodge is three plus with a built-in reroll. The blitz is then a three plus and you've got a reroll for it. And even if we'd used a reroll in the past, we'd still have a reroll for it. So yeah, like all of it has a reroll. It might have been a more than 50% play overall. Yeah, it, it looks unlikely, but actually like when you maths it out, I'm not sure it is that unlikely. So, so I feel like, you know, you're not always going to win in Bloodball, right? Like that's part of it. Um, I feel like we found the best play we could in that situation. Um, it was a tough drive playing down players for three turns so I don't know I, I think we did okay okay good stun better than nothing really want to keep this ball back this time because because I don't don't want to do that dodge just because if it rolls a one I don't want to spend a reroll on it and I don't want to injure it maybe with four rerolls I should dodge it and 
spend the reroll if I have to. Probably. Probably I should get that up. I think I was too hasty there. If he tried not playing down players. Orc strategies. Boo. Boo to these bash team strategies of having more players than the opponent. Four plus on the reroll always works. It's 50% plus 50% equals 100%. So I think the dice may be burnt. <laughs> hey, Maya. How are you? <laughs> Listen. Veteran Blood Bowl players all know the truth. Every action you can take is a 50%. It will either work or it won't. Could we not roll like rubbish for the whole 16 turns? <laughs> Having said that, would be all right to sometimes not be awful. Um, Lesai. <laughs> the four plus did work, exactly. The four plus worked, so the maths adds up. It was the three plus that failed because two thirds plus two thirds is bigger than one. So you have an overflow. Oh, God. All right, we're going too far now, chat. We're going too far. Overflow error. <laughs> that sounds like a spreadsheet term. Need, need J Lev here to explain spreadsheets. <laughs> Never. Thinking of fouling? Or are they just bunching up? Turn me on. Yeah, they're fouling. Just a stun, no send off. We haven't rolled a knockdown like the last three turns on these 75% hits. Come on, game. <laughs> Give me something. Anything at all. Just anything at all. How are leagues and admin admins have to do lots out of client work to smooth everything over? Um, you'd have to ask the people who are doing the actual running, um, Maya. I, I know that um, you've played in Rebel before, so you, you're aware of how amazing the Rebel admin team is with Major Byte and um, Luminous doing all sorts of crazy tech work to make things easier in the background. Um, that's the main one I play in. There's definitely been some hiccups even for them. Um, I know the last few weeks has been a couple of people saying they get error messages, but I don't know if that's like a core thing or not because Rebel have set it up so we can validate our own games. Um, again, major bite skills, and um, and so I don't know if uh, if the hiccup is happening at that point of self-validation because it hasn't happened to me yet. Oh, the admin tools been down for the last twelve hours. There you go. Core Knight's got a, a more uh, knowledgeable answer than I do. Jeez Louise, that's terrible. Are you thinking of starting a league? I'm sure Jimmy would have some perspective as well, because like he runs the Super League. I'd like to get this out now. It's been stuck there for too long. 
what I'd like to do is to knock this down and go through that space, but knocking that down is not a guarantee, is it? Um, I guess we could blitz that instead. It's easier to knock down, and even if it's a push, this means we can get that catcher out. I think we should just send you forward. Because we need to start doing something on turn 13. I've just booked my own way out, because I'm an idiot. Literally just bought my own way out. That was really dumb. The good news is we still can't remove anything. <laughs> the good news is, no matter what we do, we will never remove these sodding elves like they've removed us. Um, we're just going to have to do a three plus, aren't we? All right, don't worry. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing good. Blitz pit return. Do you know I never played in a blitz pit? I think I didn't know about them for a long time. And then when I did find out about them, there was one I wanted to do, but I couldn't do because of timing. But they're quite often on weekends, aren't they, blitz pits? And I quite often have to work weekends. Actual tools are pretty easy to use, in my opinion. More than there was in Bubble 2, I think. Although a few things you can get players to do, admins that I'll have to do, so swings and roundabouts. Definitely not just self authentication steps. It's practical snow. Having the same issue in another league, too. Not me personally, it's been reported. Okay, so yeah, there is something up. Well, we're getting close to the end of the season, so there'll be new team coming soon. And then. Um, no doubt soon after that a patch to fix things have gone wrong <laughs> has been the general mode uh, I think we need to blitz this and try to get through this gap or this let's just think this through for a second because um, we, we do need to move forward now I mean the thing is right now we can just dodge everything through there on a 2 plus if we need to if we were to knock that out of the way if it's standing up but still there, we still have to do the two pluses, right? If we were to knock that out of the way, same thing, to be honest. We're going to have to do two pluses through whatever. Don't think, maybe it is worth coming this way instead. We have got speed on this side. If we blitz that, maybe, maybe because, well, they're going to catch up anyway because they're what else. Um... Let's go for this. I think given it's going to be two plus anyway, I think I'm just going to take this one dice. Gives me more players free afterwards. Okay, that helps because that way we don't have to do a dodge because it got knocked down. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everyone's doing rushes. That's what's happening. Everyone's doing rushes. Good. Oh, that's not a rush because I miscounted. Well, that's good. I'm glad it's not a rush. Other people are still doing rushes, but that one is not. Okay. That's all really good. Where's the best place we can put this? I really don't know. Maybe there, probably with two rushes. Good.
Is it worth rushing this one? We could get to there now. We don't close the gate if we do the rushes, so I think we just leave that. Nice. Um, that's stunned anyway. If we stand there, at least we're stopping that from getting up and moving freely. Or we could go like here. Oh, I think we still we are. Roll quite a lot of dice that turn. Mm -hmm. I think I was lying about the rushes all the time. I definitely miscounted and thought I had to do rushes on the ball carrier. Mm. Funnily enough, I do know that you never fit fitted. Did you feel it was a personal slight? I'm sorry. I remember talking to you about one of them. I remember talking to you about one of them. Um, but yeah, I think I um, I couldn't do it for some reason. But it was great, but I didn't like the part where I lost. <laughs> hey, did he? I do like these times when they hit us and we don't just die. That's much preferable to the times when they hit us and we do just die. So, big fan of these situations where we sometimes don't just die. Got a tackle on the ball. Yeah, that's an annoying square for sure. I mean, I think what we want to do is to get around here and they've given us a lot of three pluses unless we do that as a one dice so we probably have to do that as a one dice lovely pal for you somewhere here this is so many dice this is so many dice we just got to do it though like there's not really a choice this is the position we're in a lot better um do you know maybe i'm standing here taking a punch that's a one nice That's a good square because it means the leaps in are less good, although you go around the back, I guess, still. Probably that's a better square because then it encourages you to at least leap into one of these, but then we've got the recovery on it, in which case we would be better off just doing it that way. Um, Good. I was thinking maybe we dodge this, but I don't think that is what we do. I think we just take that one nice and stay where we are. I think that's probably all we can do. 
Rolled good dice that turn. But still, they have the ward out and sleep in. Hi, Green. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened, hey, Maya. I think you were, you were trying to, trying to help me get in. Actually, you were trying to find a weekend where we, where it would work, and then didn't. Oh wow, you're using the tackle there. I would have absolutely been saving the tackle to go after that. Very surprised by that one. Um. Okay. Give up more hits to keep them more busy here. I think. Yeah, I would have wanted to put ball with that because we are carrying on dodge. Are they they just not trying to sack the ball? They're just going to go for punching things? I mean, that fits with the original strategy of just using the wizard to kill things instead of using the wizard to... Maybe they're trying to get rid of the sidesteppers to help their one turn? I mean, they have got a numbers advantage for the one turn, so it's going to be a hard one turn to get a really good defense against. That might be what they're going for, just thinking about the one turn. And they're certainly not hitting the ball. Okay, good. That means at least we'll get the touchdown. Do we take any blocks at all? Punch that on two dice, can't we, without... Not having to do anything clever. Fine. Mm. Hey, Magia. Hey, Dimmy. Okay, they've got ten. We've still got eight. Um, what's the best way we can do this? Maybe something like this. Dodge this, it's the hardest one to knock over. No, you need to be there. <laughs> as good as we can do. It's not amazing, is it? I think that's probably about as good as we can do. Almost finished your thesis. Go, Hargrim. I believe in you. Right, Sham, but none of my cows woke up. Happens so often. Come on, Hargrim. It's going to feel so good when you're done. You know it is. It's going to feel amazing. does not look like they're setting up for the 110. High kick, so I, unless I'm missing a 110 set up here, this is going to be a draw. Which, given that we were on six players on like turn four, <laughs> pretty happy with a draw, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Oh, not happy with that serious injury. Please, ref. That's a, one of our few good players. Yeah, not ref, sorry, Apo. Apo does the job. They've had a very good game of getting SVP on their uh, war dances. I'm gonna go drinking tonight and celebrate handing it in. Come on. Yeah, it definitely looked it looked very tough for us, Hanky Panky, so I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of getting uh, not a loss out of this one. Um one of those things I say over and over again on the stream and I would love to say I always live up to it, and I don't, but a um, big part of getting better at Blood Bowl 
just persuading yourself that games aren't lost even when you think they are and I often do the thing where I like talk about a game as if it's lost like I think I said that's game over on like turn three or something stupid um but I try to always even when I'm talking very pessimistically to keep giving myself whatever options I think I can so yeah I agree with Shamba opponent was way too passive the situation they were in they could have been much more aggressive um I do I do agree with Shamba on that With the numbers advantage, they should have got in my face much more, I think, in that second half. Standing off in the half screen probably uh, probably was not the way to go. Nice MVP as well. Nice MVP for them. Wow, yeah, their two war dancers did very well out of that game. So, Spleggy. I think that's, I think that's a dead Spleggy. Sorry, Spleggy. But yeah, serious injuries on... Lyman with a random skill we don't really want and we've got loads of cash in the bank um, another serious injury on a no skill Lyman um, Rightful Rightful will keep with a serious injury because they've got two really good randoms like block tackle for 20k is real nice so but we'll keep them Raven, I might also keep Raven even though it's also serious injury just because I don't hate the frenzy and because we might not have enough cash to buy absolutely everyone. Um, Freezing Star is going to get blocked so we have a bludger. So now we've got a couple of, we've kind of got like your start, this is like, I feel like this is your um, elf catcher starter set. I mean I don't think wrestle on what else but on strength three elf catchers. This is like your elf catcher starter pack. One with dodge and wrestle, one with dodge and block. Ready to go. Sorted. Um so uh that's that. We could random general on vitriolic monkey now. I said like I think for the first couple of catches you just have to give them dodge because the team so badly needs it. We could if we're thinking long term now try random generals on vitriolic monkey before doing the dodge because at least we've got two good catches and in theory again we could replace let's have a quick look at what we would be taking the chance of so block obviously is a great success fend is not amazing but it's only 10k same for pro i don't really want it as my first skill but for 10k it's not the end of the world sure hands i actually wouldn't hate at all on an elf catcher because in the long run Yes, we will get a thrower in the long run, but on lots of drives, it's going to make more sense just to carry on the catches because they're fast. Uh, Dauntless, it's not amazing, but honestly, like I randomed a Dauntless War Dancer on um, my off-stream Wood Elf team, and I, I've got a lot of value out of it. Like I never think of taking Dauntless, but for 10,000, I think having one on a team's really pretty good. Uh, frenzy I quite like um, it's kind of annoying in the short term but having a frenzy catcher they've got the movement they can use it well um, shadowing again not amazing but at least the movement eight it's got a chance to do something tackle put that in with the like good eventually skills because um, you need to add wrestle or something else to it but yeah it will be good eventually same for strip ball kick somewhere on the team I don't hate it the problem with almost all of these skills is you don't really want them as your first skill so you'd be randoming and then you do your build around them, but you'd be carrying an extra skill that you're not getting maximum value from to begin with. But um, I think uh, I think I might do it anyway, just because it's kind of fun to experiment with these things on streams. I haven't really had a chance to experiment randoms that much because um, I haven't played teams in this random setting that much. Uh, random agility also we could look at. Diving tackle, add that to the long list of eventually good. Leap, I don't hate it eventually once you've got all the sacking skills. Sneaky Git, I want to have one somewhere. I'd probably prefer it's a lineman, but you do want one. Defensive, I think, is going to take you too long to get any value out of, so that's probably a fire. Dodge is amazing. Safe pair of hands is terrible. Sprint Sure Feet gives you the immediate like idea you want that you're going to build a one-turner with this player, so like it's kind of helpful. Um, But it's going to take a while to get all the value out of it sidestep again good once you add other skills do you know what maybe the random agility is better maybe it is diving catch feels like a waste on a player that has nerves of steel but like agility first 
would uh, would give you some information about where you want to take the player. I don't know, chat. I don't know. On the block one, yes, Sith Trooper, an exercise step. Um... What do I want to do? Random general, random object. You know, generals are just generally better, right? Like, general is the deepest of all the skill sets. Like, it's the one that has, like, the most good ones. Um, but agility on a catcher. Like, I'm not going to feel mad about getting any of those. It's just going to be hard. And everything is, the thing is just everything's much better once you've got dodge. <laughs> Everything's just a hundred times better when you uh when you've got dodge. It's random in general. Sure hands. I'm okay with it. I'm really okay with it. So that's gonna be our ball carrier for now. That's gonna be our ball carrier for now. Okay. Pretty good. Um so we've got currently for next game we've got five, six, seven, eight, so we're not gonna get to twelve for next game. So I don't know how much is really worth buying. Do we just... We could buy a thrower now. We, maybe it's time to buy a thrower. Maybe it's... Although we've just got a sure hand somewhere else. It might still be time to get a thrower just to start gaining SPP on them. Because um, we're eventually going to want leader. Um, go on, let's just have a thrower. Let's just do it because we don't have a thrower and we want to. It is kind of weird time to do it right after getting um, the sure hand somewhere else, but whatever. Um, we've even timed this quite well because it's like five minutes till the Rebel game. So uh, let's get to my dashboard so we can find out who's going to be our thrower. Where are your quests? Next on the position on this is so salty salt who is not on the team. Can we customize them. Do we have any throw bits? We do. We can give them a fun a fun headband and some spikes in the classic blood bowl way. And classic bubble ball three way. And I think I like the less fussy one for a thrower. Okay. That was game number seven on the Pro Elf team. Uh we're four, two and one. If you're enjoying the content on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe.